Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Last week, I talked about where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. So today, I'll be talking about the follow-up series, Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego. If you already watched my episode on Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego, then you're already up to date, because... Truth be told, there's really nothing different here, in the way that the game is played, of course. There is quite a few differences, though. For instance, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego was all about geography. Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego is all about history. And unlike Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego, Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego only lasted for two years. Now, the startup is actually quite different from where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Because instead of the chief calling out the gumshoes and our host is telling how Carmen is up to no good, instead, we start off with Carmen Sandiego at her headquarters and she's talking to one of her henchmen and tells them to go steal something historical. And they go and do it and the chief and our host call up a new team of gumshoes or time pilots, as they're called in this show, to try to stop them. And you may have already noticed that Carmen Sandiego and her henchmen are actually played by real people this time instead of the cartoon animation form that were in the world is Carmen Sandiego actually used. Of course, the only thing is the film quality for Carmen Sandiego and her henchmen are done in this like uh, blurry semi uh, 3D dial-up computer look. I call it that because it kind of looks like when the Nintendo 64 came out, and the 3D was there, but it wasn't quite mastered yet on most games. And not to mention, you remember how the computers were back in the days with all the dial-up, and the footage was kind of so-so. I'm not really sure why they did it like this. I think the idea was to make it out to be like uh, some sort of a computer game thing, and the whole cyberspace thing to give it that warpy look. However, I did find that to be kind of annoying, which may have been part of the problem here. But I can't say for sure. Anyway, the game is really very much the same as where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. The time pilots are called up and they have to answer a series of questions. And I'm sure you already figured out that they're already history related and that's just round one. In round two, they have to try to get the object that was stolen back. But before they can do that, the villain that Carmen has called up puts you in a tractor beam to try to stop you or tampers with the ship whatever comes first it depends upon the season so first you got to get out of that by answering a series of questions and they activate a loot tracker beam to try to capture the stolen artifact and then we come to the bonus round where in this part you have to capture the villain and Carmen Sandiego in this part the winning pilot is given 90 seconds to answer a series of questions in several time portals that are posted by Carmen herself they're all themed to a particular period of time and all the questions are related to the stolen artifact. If the questions are answered correctly, the gates will open automatically and they proceed to get the criminal. If they get through two or three time portals, they capture the villain. And if they manage to get through six time portals, they capture Carmen Sandiego. This was a pretty good show that taught kids about history. The sad thing is it only lasted for two years. Why? Again, I really don't know. I think it all comes down to the fact that it lacked the charm that the first show had. I mean, kids got to learn about geography, they got to do a lot more, and plus they didn't have these lousy computer graphics to work with. Either way, I think that if you put both shows together, you got a real good thing going. And just for a little piece of information, there was actually one episode on this show where the host asked a question about the host to where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. And that's pretty cool that they did that. All in all, it was a good show. It doesn't have the charm that where in the world is Carmen Sandiego has, but it's still worth watching. If you can ever find it on YouTube, you might want to check it out. If at least for the nostalgia. This is Movie Fan, signing off.